Today we're gonna talk about toasts. I'm pretty sure you all want to know what the Russians say when they drink. And for that, we get the help of Mr. Russian Stereotype. Mr. Russian Stereotype, are you okay? Mr. Russian Stereotype, are you here? Are you gonna help us? I think he's not able to help us. So I'm gonna tell you the one toast that I know and that we all have heard in the movies. It's Nazdarovi. No! There's no toast! Nazdarovi! Nazdarovi means you are welcome! There is toast za zdorovie, for their help. Za zdorovie. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Russian Stereotype. I need your help. With what? With the toast. Toast? Yes. Joss. Ah, Joss. <laughs> okay. There's your toes. Come on, not that toast. The toast. <laughs> Joss. I can't help you with Joss. In Russia, we're drinking. Only saying toast. If you are not saying toast, it means that you are alcoholic. The first toast is usually for the celebration, for the birthday or for the new year. So, for the meeting. No, 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 no. You need to clink with me. Yes, that's how we're doing it. For the meeting. The second toast is usually for the owner of the house. So for the owner of the house. No, 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 no. You cannot clink with this empty one. You need to refill it. Yes. For the owner of the house. The third one is for those who gone. We lost a lot of people during the wars. And for our grand-grandmothers and fathers, we're not clinking when we're drinking for the dead people. For those who gone. The fourth one, we're drinking for the women. And when we're drinking for the women, all the men on the table standing up and women still sitting. So we're drinking for the women, for the beautiful ones. No, 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 no. You cannot put it when you clink. When you clink, you need to drink it. Anyway, for the women. <sighs> the next one, with you, we will drink how Russian we call Nabruderschaft. It means it's only with the men and women. So we're doing like this. Doing like this. And you need to drink with me. But after drinking, you need to kiss me. Mm? Yes, 
You need only like this. Yes. So we have a lot of toasts, and for example, when you can drink for money, for everything, for the government, for the motherland Russia. But if you don't know what to say, you can say Budim. Budim, it means we will. We will be rich, we will be famous, we will be healthy, we will have children, big house, all the things. But we just cutting all the last thing. We say we will. It means Budim. Budim. do so for the wait, 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 wait. I've heard that you Russians have the longest oats in the world is that true yes in Russia we has the longest toast uh, so once upon a time, that one living the king, each has two daughters. The oldest one was the smartest one, and the second one was the dumbest one, and they wanted to be something. And then, after all these years, after all these threatenings, the things become good. That is why you need to love and appreciate your parents. Let's drink for the parents. Have to go, Mr. Russian, Mr. No, 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 no. Before you will go, we will drink the last one. We call it Napososhok. Do you know why we call it like this? No, I don't know. Yeah, centuries ago, we had this big house, and people were going to each other, to home. And when the guest Needed to go the old one. They have the sticks, the big wooden sticks like mages, like a Gandalf head. And so they were taking these sticks, these sticks, and they were taking the vodka and putting it here. And if you can do it, and it will be stinging, it means that you are not drunk. Definitely, I'm <laughs> drunk. Sorry. Okay, Mr. Russian Stereotype, I have to go. Hmm? Let's drink the last one. Who are you? To go. Who are you? Uh, no, 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 don't put the bottle on the table. Take Why? it away. Put it on the floor. The floor? Why? See, yes, on the floor. Because we have this tradition. The bottle, empty bottle cannot be on the table. Why? Because when Russians defeat Napoleon and they came to Paris, they were drinking a lot in the restaurants. And so is it <laughs> it's so dumb over there. They were making the bills counting the bottles on the table. 
So Russians were taking out the bottles from the table. And they were not paying for the drink. <laughs> for the I smart can... people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home, baby, darling, I came, honey, I'm home, honey, honey, what happened to you?